Thank you. Thank you. Let's go ahead and jump right into Scripture. 1 Corinthians 2, verse 9. Can we throw that out there? Hmm. Yeah. So check this out. 1 Corinthians 2, verse 9. Let's jump to the quotation right here. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. Pastor Pradeepin challenged me to really rally momentum in prayer for MomCon. And uh, about a week after that, I, I read this scripture, and uh, I just felt like the Lord really, really grabbed a hold of this scripture and put it in my heart that this would be the theme as we pray for Momentum Conference. I shared that with Pastor Pradeepin, and he's like, man, I love that. Let's, let's share that with Momentum. And I'm just thinking about this. You know, eyes have not seen. I mean, eyes have seen earth from outer space. Eyes have seen the top of Mount Everest. You know what I'm saying? Eyes have seen dead men rise. Eyes have literally seen Jesus in the flesh. But what if eyes have never seen what the Lord wants to do at Momentum Conference? Would you ask for it? Would you get up early and ask for it? You know, ears have heard incredible things. Ears have heard Alex Mitchell play the drums. Ears have heard Pastor Pradeepin preach phenomenal messages. Guys, ears have heard Jesus speak. But what if ears have never heard the things that the speakers at Momentum Conference might say? What if minds could not even imagine what is going to happen at Momentum Conference? Would you ask for it? Would you pray for it? How much would you, would you pray for it? And I really want this to be the theme as, as, we, as we just cast our prayer on this. And I want to I show you a little bit of what prayer actually can do. So if we can throw the next scripture, Revelation 5, verse 8 up there. And this is, this is a little weird, but bear with me. It says, when he took the scroll, the four living beings and the 24 elders, this is describing heaven right now, fell down before the lamb. Each had a harp, and they held gold bowls filled with incense, which are the prayers of God's people. So this image that we have is these bowls that are filled with, with prayer. And I want to challenge you to make sure that the, that bowl for Momentum Conference is full of our prayers. And here's how it's going to work. If you will commit one minute a day between here and Momentum Conference, there's 10 weeks left, 7 times 10, Seven days a week, that's 70. 70 minutes, that's about an hour. 60 seconds a day, and you can commit an hour of prayer towards Momentum Conference. What if you got up five minutes earlier every day and began to pray for Momentum Conference? That's almost six hours that you're going to commit of praying. What if you stayed up five minutes later? What, what about those of you who have a 20-minute car ride to work? If you committed the car ride there and the car ride back, that's 40 minutes a day, which is almost 50 hours of prayer. If you, if you calculate that out. Now, if all of us are, are committing to this, how full do you think that bowl is going to be of prayer? It's going to get full. What if we had 500 hours of prayer for Momentum Conference? Do you think we could see something that eyes have never seen? Do you think we could hear something that ears have never heard or, or, or our mind couldn't even imagine if we would just begin to ask for it? See, Jesus told us to pray, let your will be done on earth, right here, right now, just like it is in heaven. Here's what it should look like in heaven. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, mind has not imagined. Let's, let's see that here on earth. Let's begin to ask for it. So if you look under your seat, there's a red card, and I just want to challenge you to commit. How many minutes a day would you commit? So I'm going to ask you to put your phone number on there or your email so that we can, we can communicate together. Also, if you're thinking, I don't know how I'm going to pray 40 minutes a day. I can commit that time, but I don't know how I'm going to give 40 minutes. What am I going to pray about? Well, we're going to help you with that too, because on the Momentum Facebook page, we're going to be posting prayers all the time. We're going to be giving you themes of things to pray about, and I'm going to challenge you guys to comment on those prayers so that everyone's idea for how, how we're praying can just kind of build up. Let's check out what happens in Revelation. Let's flip over to chapter 8, verses 3 to 5. It says, Another angel with a gold incense burner came and stood at the altar. A great amount of incense was given to him to mix with the prayers of God's people as an offering 
on the gold altar before the throne. The smoke of the insects mixed with the prayers of God's holy people ascended up to God from the altar where the angel poured them out. Check this out. Then the angel filled the incense burner with fire from the altar, threw it down the earth, thunder crashed, lightning flashed, and there was a terrible earthquake. I want Momentum Conference to shake the earth. I want Momentum Conference to do something that our eyes couldn't imagine, that our ears have never heard before, that our minds could never comprehend. And let me ask you this question before you fill out how many minutes you're going to commit. How full do you want that bowl to be when God turns it out over and pours it out on us over Momentum Conference? And when you think about how full you want that to be and what what you want to see, that's when I want you to pick that number, write it down, and commit to praying for Momentum Conference. So as I turn it back over to Pastor Pradeepin, the ushers can go ahead and pass those buckets out. We're going to collect those, and we're going to really rally together and pray for a Momentum Conference. Amen? Amen. That's powerful. Hey, as they're collecting that, why don't you lead us in a prayer for MomCon? Let's just start this off. All right? We're not going to pass a bowl. We're going to fill a bowl. Come on. Amen. Well, Lord, we 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 just honor you and thank you for Momentum Conference. And God, I ask for everyone in this room, that you would give us creative ideas to to ask for big things. Not just the normal things we ask for every single day, but things that we couldn't even imagine. God, I ask that the Holy Spirit would anoint us to to imagine those great things and to begin to ask for them, God. We believe that that you you can do incredible things. God, that you can start revival that would sweep not just our community, not just our state or our country, but the whole world. God, what if, what if revival started because of what you're going to do at Momentum Conference? God, what if you would turn hearts of people back to you? God, well, we don't, we don't want to keep asking what if. We want to ask that you would do it. And so I ask that you would come. I ask in Jesus' name that you would show up in this place, that heaven would touch earth, that your will would be done here on earth just like it is done in heaven. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Well said. Let's give